Hello guys, welcome back to another video of SpaceX Update. The Federal Aviation Administration has released an update on the Starship licensing process, delaying SpaceX's proposed second launch of the rocket pending additional environmental review. The FAA's decision comes after SpaceX conducted a test flight of the Starship Super Heavy Vehicle at Boca Chica, Texas on April 20. The launch resulted in an explosion, and SpaceX subsequently completed a mishap investigation with FAA oversight. As part of the license application determination process for a second launch, the FAA will review new environmental information, including changes related to the launch pad and proposed vehicle and flight modifications. The FAA will also complete a written re-evaluation to the 2022 Programmatic Environmental Assessment evaluating the new environmental information, including Endangered Species Act consultation with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. If the FAA determines through the WR process that the contents of the PEA do not remain valid in light of the changes proposed for Flight 2, additional environmental review will be required. The FAA has not authorized SpaceX's proposed Flight 2 at this time and will provide updates with notification of any license determination or results of additional environmental review. In my opinion, the delay in granting the license is more likely due to environmental lawsuits than to the readiness of the vehicle and the launch site improvements. At Massey's site, Super Heavy Booster 10 underwent another cryogenic test. This time, it was the LOX tank's turn. It was loaded with liquid nitrogen. The test seemed to go fine and the team would have collected a fair amount of data. A road delay notice has been issued for transportation operations on September 18. This could potentially be related to Booster 10's return to the build site. Last night, SpaceX launched its 65th mission of the year. 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engine full power, and liftoff of Starlink 616. Go, Starlink, go Falcon. Starlink Group 6 16 was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Landing leg deploy. Stage 1 landing confirmed. On Thursday, September 14, Firefly Aerospace launched Space Force's Victus Knox mission. It was a tactically responsive space demonstration that demonstrated the ability to rapidly acquire, build, integrate, and launch a satellite within 27 hours of receiving launch orders. Victus Knox was the second tactically responsive space demonstration by the Space Force. The first, which launched in 2021, was designed to test the concept of rapid space launch. Victus went a step further by testing the ability to launch a satellite with a specific payload in a short amount of time. The mission was carried out by a team from Space Systems Command and Firefly Aerospace. Millennium Space Systems, a Boeing subsidiary, built the spacecraft. Victus Knox is an important step towards the Space Force's goal of developing a more responsive and agile space capability. The mission demonstrated Space Force's ability to rapidly deploy satellites in response to threats or challenges. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.